them they help me count my money how many this guess who found the charger to their camera so now I'm going to give you a tutorial of the style that I have today I have a name for it we'll just call it newbie and twist for lock and um let me start with mm, we'll do this one since it's close to the front this is also a good video for how to take these bad boys down <laughs> so what you want to do is unhook the top and unhook the bottom and if you're wondering what I'm unhooking it's pipe cleaner and I just use one piece and I folded it in half and it doesn't have to be perfect but as close to the middle as you can get it because pipe cleaner has wire in the middle so the ends can be very sharp so I typically fold the ends to prevent scratching my neck and my face this is how your curls will come down so you can keep the the thicker curl as I mentioned I like the two for one style so I would probably wear it like this and then maybe pull them out the following week the following week for um, looser curls and then pin them up once they start to fall down <clears throat> I don't know what's going on in my voice but bear with me now what I do, since my hair is uneven, I make it even. And I pull these ends down to size. Take the pipe cleaner, the, the end that you folded, lay it across them and wrap the pipe cleaner around your locks and this will help secure the strands so as you roll they do not come undone now what you'll also notice especially when they're uneven and I pull this down you never want to pull too much strain on your hair so you just pull it to give it a little spring but what you'll notice is that there may be a few that are more loose. And so, as you roll, you may want to roll to the side. Or you can give them a little assistance by giving them one go round before you start to bring them all. Ah, of course that would happen, right? So you just bring them all down to side and then start rolling. And again, it'll probably happen. So now that I've pushed them to the end, I can wrap them around. And then you just roll. So I'm glad that was a challenge because now you'll know what to do if you had that problem while you're rolling these. And as you roll, you want to kind of push it down to tighten the curl, but also you're going to need this end. So you push it down a little to bring them together.
and also once you get to the root you're going to use this in to secure this in place and there you have it maybe we'll call these pigtails <laughs> I don't know I'll figure something funky out but that is the hide to and I prefer pipe cleaner over rods a because I don't have to sit under the dryer I can leave my hair wet with these curled up and let that vitamin D in the sky do the heating for me also as I mentioned you can leave these in your hair you can't leave rods in your hair but you can leave these in your hair and have these as a style for a week but also they're flexible so if you want to have more definition to your style if you choose to keep these in so if you want to go for a bank and you want to have more definition to that bank you can bend these in to have a curled or a you know more curled image to it and style it accordingly or say for instance you you have a wedding that you want to attend you can roll these up into a little ball there's so many different things you can do with these I love pipe cleaner and that is the tutorial that concludes it if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment I have a page on Facebook called locks Q&A and you leave your questions and I will answer you can um, also please feel free to like comment and share this video after that I will be doing an interlocking tutorial because as you can see my roots are getting in so stay tuned y'all